guys and welcome to my very first challenge video. This is going to be my cheap art supplies challenge and I just want to show you the items that I'm going to be using for this challenge. So this watercolor palette comes from the dollar store and I got it <laughs> as a joke from my brother and his girlfriend Yvette because they know that I love and I'm obsessed with watercolors. So they gave me war colors as a Christmas present, as a joke. So yeah, uh, actually you can go and check Yvette's channel here on YouTube uh, because she has some very cool videos about makeup and beauty stuff uh, that I'm sure you are going to like, so I'll post a link to her channel. I'll be using ballpoint pens in different colors for my line art. And uh, because there are not enough colors in the watercolor palette, I'll be using watercolor pencils that I got at the supermarket, a watercolor brush that I got at Michael's, well, at Michael's like for two dollars, a white gel pen for highlights, and some colored pencils which are like for kids, so they weren't expensive or anything. Um, as for paper, I'm going to be using this kind of paper, which is supposed to be drawing paper. Uh, it's not for watercolors, so I'll try to do my best. And this is my sketch. It's going to be a Zootopia fan art. Uh, so yeah, let's see how that goes. First of all, I had so much fun doing this challenge. Uh, yeah. It was very challenging, which is the whole point. Um, I was working with watercolors that are meant to be used by kindergarten children. So they were extremely pale and barely pigmented. And I had to layer them like crazy to get some color on the paper. So yeah, that was difficult. <laughs> that was complicated. Um, at the same time, they weren't chalky, which is good for watercolors. Um, even though they were plasticky, and that was weird. But yeah, I, I was able to work with them. Um, I would say they were good. Because, I mean, come on, they come from the Dollar Tree store. And they were one dollar. And yeah, <laughs> they were okay. Um, the main challenge for this drawing was the paper because even though they say they clearly say that you can work with paint on this kind of paper it wasn't meant to be used with watercolors and the paper began to buckle instantly even though i had fixed it with clamps it was buckling all the time and you don't want it to buckle when you're working with watercolors. So that wasn't nice. Um, but the worst thing was that I was destroying the tooth of the paper with all the layering that, uh, that I was doing. Uh, so whenever I was coloring with my uh, watercolor pencils, I was taking bits of paper with the point of the pencil and that was horrible, because you don't want to destroy your paper. You need your paper in order to draw on it. So I was panicking, actually. <laughs> and that wasn't cool at all. Uh, so I decided to use uh, less watercolors and more watercolor pencils in order to preserve the paper. And that worked. That helped a lot. But yeah, it, wasn't cool. it, it, it was just difficult to work with this paper. Um, as for the watercolor pencils that I was using, they were good, I would say, because first of all, they were extremely cheap, super cheap, and they were decently pigmented. Um, yeah, and I was able to layer them and blend, uh, blend them, which is the main thing that you need when you're working with watercolor pencils or where or or with colored pencils. <clears throat> Uh, so that was cool. They were very chalky though, um, and it was just impossible to sharpen them. I don't know if you can see my gray watercolor pencil on the screen, 
but it became tiny because I was using it so much that I had to sharpen it all the time and whenever I tried to sharpen it, it broke. It was breaking all the time and it was just frustrating and impossible. <laughs> but other than that, it was okay. I mean, they were they were good for the price. Yeah. Um, as for the Stadler colored pencils that I was using, they were very pigmented because they are meant to be used by young children as well and they were pigmented, yeah, uh, they were kind of creamy and it was super easy to uh, blend them and layer them, so that was good. Um, but the nicest, uh, the nicest thing uh, when working on this um, project was the um, I wasn't expecting to be so nicely surprised by the ballpoint pens. They were so cool. I love the colors. Um, they were so bright. And usually when you're working with uh, colored pencils, you leave this waxy surface on the paper. And if you want to add some lines or do some shading on, the, on, the, on top of the, of the pigment, uh, it's just impossible to do it with ballpoint pens. I don't know why, but these pens, uh, when I started working with them on top of my pigment, they worked all right and very easily. And I was like so surprised and they were so super cool. So I was able to do some lots of shading with them and details, tiny details and some of my line art. So I was very nicely surprised and so happy to be using them. That was very nice. I would like to do another video uh, just using these ballpoint pens to do a portrait or something and that's going to be a huge, ch a huge challenge for me. Um, so yeah. But all in all it was very nice working uh, with these uh, cheap art supplies and it just goes to show that you don't have to spend lots of money uh, you know buying like super expensive brands in order to do something that's going to be cool and in order to have fun. So just go to your supermarket or your dollar store and buy cheap stuff and create something and you're gonna love it. So I'm finally done with this video and this challenge. It took me like hours to finish it but I am satisfied with the final outcome of this drawing. Um, I'm not used to drawing animals either, so it wasn't too bad, I guess. And last but not least, I am tagging Yvette Morin to do this challenge, which in her case is going to be something like cheap beauty supplies or Dollar Tree beauty items or something like that, because she does uh, makeup videos. But you have to do this video, Yvette, because I used these Mickey Mouse watercolors that you guys gave me as a joke. So you certainly owe me that, and I'll be waiting for your challenge video, which I'm sure it's going to be amazing anyway. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. If you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe and contact me if you have any questions. So thanks for watching.